it's slime time welcome back to my channel unless you're new then a big welcome to you so before we get into this video there's just two things i want to tell you really quickly i have a limited edition slime and merch shop up right now link is down below and i also posted a brand new youtube video on my second youtube channel at julia catherine so uh that's all the disclaimers and self promo for now so today we're going to be trying out a little bit of a different concept we're going to be attempting some slime makeovers which is pretty much when you take an existing slime and try to completely morph it into a new one. If you guys saw last week's video, I reviewed $100 of parakeet slimes as slimes, and today I'm going to be trying to remodel all of these. All right, so first up, we're starting off with toxic waste. This was actually one of the extras I received in my package, so we're gonna see if we can like kind of re- so right here, I just have this little mixing bowl. I'm just going to empty the slime into here as we're like customizing it. So pretty much for the starting texture, we have this like lime green, glossy, regular slime base. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. I have some green beads that match the aesthetic of the slime really well. I think they'd add in a super cool texture and really spice up the slime. I also have some big and small blue foam beads. I feel like these would be a really nice accent color and complement the green tones in there very well. So let's try this out. Probably gonna end up just dumping all of them in here to be honest because it's kind of hard to open and once it's open it's open ah. whoa those are so pretty uh, wow i'm already so happy with my decisions i don't know if i want to go for like a soupy what the <gasps> this is so satisfying all right, so this is a very interesting texture right now. I'm really loving it. The beads added in like a little bit of a grainy texture and the foam beads are like a thicker way of like thickening the slime up. Look how well these foam beads stay in the slime. Wow. wow. I just added in a dash of activator to help thicken this up just a little bit because it is a little bit on the sticky side. All right, so I'm honestly really content with the slime texture that we've created. I'm not gonna lie, we did go a little bit easy on this first round, but don't worry, it will go harder in the next ones. All right, so the next slime up to bat is Loot Shark. I love this one and I love how it's like a foam slime, but I honestly wanna take the foam beads out and try remodeling it that way. All right, so the first thing that I did is I separated the foam beads and the slime. As you can see, there are still some foam beads inside the slime, but what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna sit here and pick out every single one. And then we're just gonna pick this up and put it in our mixing bowl. So I'm thinking for this slime, I want to do a butter slime with foam beads and accent glitters. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do right now is put some glitters in. Oh, I look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this glitter. And then I have these pink glitters. These are by the brand Recollection to complement the pink foam beads. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Now, since this slime is a little bit on the stickier side, I am going to dip my fingers in some activator. All right, so now here is the slime with all the glitters mixed in. Ooh. My gosh, that is beautiful. There already were some glitters inside of here, but I love how the little iridescent glitters complement the slime. It's so beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna take some of these pink foam beads and dump some of these in here. Oh gosh, that was a lot actually. Um, I hope that's not too much. Ooh, girl, the slime is coming together. Ooh, okay, so this is starting to like make it look purple because the pink foam beads are mixing in with the blue slime. Are you guys seeing that? It's like almost purple now. Oh, Daiso Soft Clay is literally the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? That is magical. 
Wow, okay, I think this is done. All right, so here's our final product. I'm officially obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, this is like the creamiest butter slime ever. But the foam beads in there add an amazing contrast to the smooth, creamy butter slime. Oh, wow, this is to die for. All right, so up next, I'm honestly thinking we should do Bomb Pop. All right, so this is kind of like a thick, icy slime texture. So I think, honestly, turning this slime into a fluffy slime would be very interesting. I'm not even 100% sure if it would work, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? So I just have some foaming hand soap right here, and then I have some Barbasol shaving cream. Oh boy, okay, so that is a literal liquid. I don't even wanna put my hand in this. Ugh, okay, here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is a mess. Oh, what have I done? Okay, wait, this is actually kind of nice. All right, am I going crazy or did I just create like a whole new slime texture? Let me describe this to you for a hot second. Look how thick it is, oh. This feels like a butter slime with no clay. It is like the lightest and airiest thing ever. It is so soft and smooth. Look at that. It's like a cloud butter, but like the OG cloud butter. Look at it, oh, look at this. Bruh, I am obsessed with this one. I feel like it was such a happy accident. Like, I thought this was gonna be such a fail. This is so smooth, thick, creamy, soft, light, and airy. Like, uh, I, uh, this is my new bae. All right, into the container. <gasps> it fits perfectly. Third slime makeover is finished. All right, so up next, I'm honestly thinking we should try out the pinkity drinkity. This slime has like jelly cubes inside of it to give it some texture. And it has a really nice opaque yet glossy base. I feel like this was a mixture between like school glue and clear glue. So seeing that this slime already has some jelly cubes inside of it to thicken it up, I'm thinking we should go along with that like thick textured slime vibe and add in some fake sand. So this stuff is from Michaels. It's coarse stone granules, whatever that's supposed to mean. This is what they look like. I guess we'll add in a cap full. Ugh. I don't know if that's too much or too little. All right, so let's start mixing. Ooh, this stuff is so thick. All right, so this slime absorbed most of the sand. It's still pretty slime-like. I think we should add in a little bit more sand. I really want this to be super thick. Maybe this is too much, who knows. This is like oddly satisfying. Oh, I, I don't know why I never thought of doing this before. I love this slime makeover challenge. I feel like a little scientist. Although it is thicker, it still just absorbed all of that sand. All right, wow, this slime has gotten really, really heavy. It has done a really good job at just eating all the sand up. I want it to be even thicker though. All right, I think we finally got it. 
so here is the final slime texture that we came out with. All of the sand pretty much transformed this pinkity drinkity slime into just a white crunchy slime. Ooh, wow. The sand made it so heavy, but this feels exactly like wet sand at the beach, but even better because it's a slime. Ooh, it's still super stretchy. Thank you, Parakeet Slimes, for that amazing slime base. The sand granules are so fine in there. I'm obsessed. Do have this little guy right here, this like golden metallic clear slime. All right, oh, look at how beautiful this pigment is. Wow. So it would be a shame to waste this clay, so I think I'm gonna turn this one into a pigmented butter slime. I'm honestly not sure how well the pigment is going to show up when I transform this into a butter slime, but I guess we'll see for ourselves. Right here, I just have this Pearl X powdered pigment. This stuff is absolutely amazing, and it's actually really strong, so don't use too much of it. I'm just going to take a little bit, this is like a quarter teaspoon, just dump that on there. Fun fact, my favorite type of slime mixing videos used to be these pigment ones. I'm gonna dip my fingers in a little bit of activator just because this is a little bit sticky. I'm honestly not even sure if this pearl pigment is gonna do anything to the slime, but I guess only time will tell. Ooh, I feel like it enhanced the gold pigment. Wow. All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah, we completely lost the pigment while mixing in this clay, but let me just say, ooh, that was a good rhyme, but let me just say how much this looks like vanilla soft serve ice cream. Oh, this has got to be like the thickest butter slime of all time. This is so thick, holy moly. Wait, oh, wow. It literally looks like vanilla soft serve ice cream. Oh, I love it. So here are our five slimes all complete. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button down below and the little post notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to see you all next week. Bye!